So tell me, is anyone annoyed yet with my constant ending the episode at 15 minutes? I actually am a little bit. That actually looks pretty good. That turned out quite well. You are not going to line up because there's not a full wall there. You are two columns there and one there. Concrete. Problem with using this this shorter segment of wall and these t and the three pillars, you're using more of your size bar to build. It really is a problem when you use a lot of your size bar to build, build, because then you end up with a lot less you can work with. I'm gonna have to just lay this out and then adjust it as I see fit. I'm gonna just see how many panels, it's full panels all the way down, except for here, which would have to be that. I don't know if my settlers can do this, but in my mind, I think they're going to shoot the bad guys through the windows. Like a settler will be on the other side of this window and say, firing a gun at the jerks down there that are trying to attack my settlement. More than likely that is impossible. I don't think the AI would understand that they could do that even. Even if I set it up that way, I don't think the AI could figure that out. So now we need the uh, flo upstairs floor, which technically will be the upstairs roof. Means we start with this little semicircle. Don't need that. Squares. 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 The stairs really don't line up the way I wanted them to, I don't think, but. If you look at this, it is a little claustrophobic when you do that. Kind of reminds me of Minecraft when you dig a dig a too high staircase down and it looks like you're bumping your head all the way down. It's only a visual appearance of you bumping your head all the way down. You're not actually... I don't think it's actually physically possible to bump your head in Minecraft. You know what? I think I'll leave these rotated like that. No, I don't like it. If you think this is a sign of OCD, hit the like button. If you think that it's not a sign of OCD, and hit the dislike button. As according to YouTube, it doesn't matter which button you hit. At least I don't think it matters. I'd have to check my analytics, which in that case I'd have to figure out how to use the analytics. Can I scrap these electrical lines that are in my face? Oh, this isn't the only settlement with the electrical lines in the face. I'm pretty sure I show... Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been to it on camera. Where... Well, my settlement in... What is that one? Can I remember the name? Hangman's Alley. My Hangman's Alley settlement. My 
Hangman's Alley settlement, I built the building so... It took me so long to build that building. But I built it just so that it would precisely fit the area. As in, it's crammed in so tight that there's no way in hell you could fit anything else there. And I actually have guns on fire escapes. I should I should show that at some point and give a nice little tour tour of the area. I wonder if anyone would be interested in that a tour of my settlements. That would actually take several episodes though. And here's the ceiling. The unfortunate thing is it has to be at, at this level. Oh, I want to see the, the round. I want to see how the round thing works with this. The answer is it doesn't. It doesn't work with this. I just want to see if it works. Okay, if I place it only, then it works. So, hooray, you can't kill yourself. I did this in another settlement, and I ended up ripping every single one of these out because I didn't like the way they looked. I have a feeling the pillar's annoying it. These gaps, though, you can walk right through them. See, it should get closer together. That's why I didn't like it in the previous one. That, that just will not work. Well, we'll come back to that one. We'll circle back around to that one. See the weird little gap that it generates all the way around? That's why I like to have a ceiling. A ceiling and a floor. But I can't. Yes, just spaz out all over the place, please. Oh, this room doesn't have a window. And there's no way to put a window in it. Great. Well, maybe this is the person who doesn't like windows. Let's just say that's the person that doesn't like windows and they don't want to they don't want to be seen. As you can see, it goes all the way up to the floor, and you can't put a ceiling. I should demonstrate that again at some point. Let's do it here. We're going to take those two up. We're going to put this one. This one here. That has a ceiling on it, and it will interfere with this placement of this wall. It will definitely not allow this wall to place here. Now, I try to lock it on. It will immediately jump over to there. Wow, that one even jumped outside. That one actually jumped outside as opposed to wanting to be on that. See? That's why you can't have a ceiling. It jumped over to the other side. Where the floor was. But if I put the floors back... I like to be a little informative in my videos. I mean, I, I, most people probably watch YouTube past the time. I find picking up information is to be is a little bit better than just passing time or killing time.
just passing on a little bit of information so that you could actually learn something. Every time you learn something is always a you make yourself a little better. Every time you think and try to figure out something. Problem solve. Don't just automatically accept everything at face value. Look at look at it and think what can be done with this object that no one has thought of before? What could I do to make this useful or what can this be used for? Or what can I do to fix this with the resources I have on hand? That kind of thinking. Maybe watch some home improvement shows. The kind that air every day and see how certain people fix things in certain ways. See how, like, maybe plumbing is done. And then maybe you look at the plumbing and you think, before you would think, oh, I have no idea how to fix that. And then later on you go, like, I know how to fix that. It's I just do this and this and this and it's fixed. Just that kind of problem solving is something that is kind of lacking for, to some extent. And I fell in a hole. This is going to be a problem. Here's a question. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Now I won't fall in the hole anymore. That would be an overly simplified way of putting it, but... That would be problem solving. The problem is, I'm falling in a hole. Let's see if I can put a railing around it. Solution, the railing's in. Or perhaps solution to railing didn't fit, so maybe I have to find something else to block it off. No, I can't get that close because of the... See, I was going to put a pillar here, but that would have made this path too narrow, so I decided not to. Let's put that away. We put a pillar there. We put a wall there. We put a pillar on the wall. Clip to the wall. There you go. You're clipped to the wall. That is not going to take another one just like the downstairs one wouldn't. And I'm guessing... An extra one here. I don't know why that clipped and went away. But approach it from a different angle. Think about it in a roundabout possibilities. Is it possible to... place an object there, or place an object there? All of these ideas and more to improve your outlook on life, hopefully. So have a good day and see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.